Welcome back. So today I am doing a tutorial on this look here. I feel like it's super springy and super bright and I just love it. All of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you won't miss another upload from me. And yeah, I think that is about it. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day and if you guys would like to see how I got this look here then just keep watching thanks guys all right guys so i already have my brows done and i just uploaded the brow tutorial so i'll link below if you guys want to check that out and i also concealed my eyelids so we're gonna go ahead and move on i decided to go ahead and spray my photo finish primer water from smashbox just to kind of prime my face and then move on to my eyeshadow for primer today, I'm going to go in with the I Love Stage Eyeshadow from Essence Beauty or Essence Cosmetics. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with my fingers. Okay, so I decided to stick with one palette today. So I'm using the Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain. And for the first shadow, I'm going to go in with Royal Prerogative. And I'm just going to use this as my transitional color today. It's pretty similar to my skin tone. So I just decided to go ahead and use this as my transitional color. Moving on to the next shadow, I decided to, because this is an orangey look, I decided to go in with Empress. And Empress is just a really vibrant orange color. And I it's very, very pigmented. So once you apply it, you have to like blend, 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 blend. <laughs> and just make sure you're blending it in very well because it's so pigmented that it kind of gets everywhere. But it's a good thing. Then I'm going to go in with Duchess, which is this darker brown color. And I'm just going to apply that in the outer V and in the crease area. And I'm doing this directly in the crease because I am going to be cutting my crease. So I'm going to take the same concealer that I used on my lids and to clean up my brows, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up my um, cut crease. And by cleaning up the cut crease, it pretty much just shows like how the orange and the brown really like fades into each other. So I love to do this step because it really just cuts it and get it very precise and clean like you see. Okay, so on my lid, I'm going to go in with another shadow from Colored Rain. And it's actually one of their single shadows and it's in the shade Downtown. And I'm going to use this as a base today. And it's just going to be like the base for the glitter that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack that all over where I put the concealer. And the concealer also helped it pop a little. So I really love that about it as well. But I'm making sure I stay in the areas where I put the concealer. Not going over it or under it. Just making sure to stay into those areas. Alright, the glitter that I'm going to be using today is from Sigma. It's one of their gl glitters and it's in the shade Blaze. And I just love their glitters and they have so much pigmentation to them and it's crazy. Like you can actually wear this glitter by itself. But I decided to use a base. So before I go in, I did want to have a glitter glue. So I'm going to use this NYX glitter glue. And then I'm going to pack this glitter all over my lid. And it just takes the look to a whole nother level. Like it just really emphasizes the look. And I love it. So I went ahead and I packed this everywhere I put the downtown shade. It didn't really have that much of a fall out. So I'm going to take what did fall out and clean it up with a wipe. You can just use the makeup remover wipe for this step. And I'm also taking it a little bit and kind of cleaning up the eyeshadow as well. Moving on to the face. Even though I did use the Smashbox Primer Water, I did want to have more than illuminating primer. So I went in with this Milani uh, Prime Light Primer. And it's their Strobing Primer that just came out a few months 
months ago and I really like it because you can see how it already makes your skin look glowy so I really love this so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in and then for foundation today I went in with this L'Oreal True Match foundation it's an OD but yet still a goodie and I absolutely love it so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my beauty blender I believe mine is in the shade W8. I have the exact names of all of the products in the description box, but I believe that is the number that I use, and I just love it. I feel like it's the best fit for me, and I love this foundation in the summer. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan, and I'm just going to apply this under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, keep it bow and chin. To set that, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup's Loose Setting Powder and I'm just going to place that everywhere I put the concealer. Yeah, so I'm interrupting the voiceover because I don't know where my mind is at. I literally just filmed a lot of this tutorial and I wasn't even recording. So I'm going to show you guys really, really quick what I use. Um, I dust off the powder, which you guys did see me set. And then I went in with this contour kit and I just used the bronzer and the blush out of here. And then for my glowiness that I have going on, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I used the shades Gold Glitter, Gold Glitter, Gold Glitter, and 143. Of course, I went in with my sibling brush and blended everything together. And then I went in with these two shades here from the um, Queen of Hearts palette and I applied it to my lower lash line so that is where we're at now and let's get back into the voiceover because and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara I'm using the Sigma embellished lash and it's in the shade bang out and it's green guys it kind of gives your lashes a different look like it's not black so it's not as deep and then it's not brown so it's not as deep but it gives it still a darker deeper look and the way the one is made it really emphasizes like the length of your lashes and it also gives you a lot of volume i really love this mascara for my lower lash line i've been wearing it a lot lately and i just really love the look of it And for lashes today, I'm going to be wearing these Cream Shop lashes in the style Wispy. And then moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take this shade called Crown and pop that in my inner teacup. And it's just going to give me that highlight that I'm always going for. For lips today, I'm going to take this Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade 044. And it's just like a darker kind of brownish burgundy-ish color. And I'm just going to line my lips And then for lipstick today, I'm going in with this Lipland lipstick. It's one of the Amrezy collabs and it's in the shade Brooklyn. And it's a really, really vibrant orange reddish color and it's super gorgeous and I love it. So I'm just going to apply that and it drives extremely matte. To finish up the look, I'm going in with this Millennium Make It Last Setting Spray. And that is the completed look, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.